Hi, it's Claire Rock from O'Brien Real Estate Clark here today at number 14 Golden Avenue alongside Mr. Daniel Sheehan. Good afternoon, everyone. We are a beautiful winter's We're afternoon, Claire. Spoiled. What an <laughs> afternoon to show this fantastic property. I'm just going to pan down the street here. We're in Waterford Rise, um, one of the earlier stages of Waterford Rise here, so a really nice established street. Uh, we've got uh, Parkland not too far away in that direction, well, in both directions, really. North facing home here, Claire, what's on offer? It is, it is. So built in 2015, and you are right, Waterford Rise is getting beautifully established now. You've got lovely treescapes, great parklands, walking tracks. One of the um, more favoured estates when it comes to buyers looking from out of the area, obviously you've got really great access back to the M1 um, yeah. and into town, less than two kilometres from town as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, and we'll show you as we get out the back here, this is one of the... Uh, the streets here in Waterford Rise, where we're just sitting up on a bit of a ridge, got some lovely views out the back yeah, as well. So. You do have lovely elevation to the to the back, but a beautiful flat block, just the same. So, as I said, built in 2015, you'll notice immaculately landscaped. Well, it's immaculate everywhere, but uh, really low cam landscaping. This is artificial turf, if you can believe it. Yeah, look, it's just it's amazing, isn't it? Nothing out of place, not a stone out of place there. No. No, it presents that way internally as well. So, welcoming in, you've got a beautiful wide entry to greet you. A tiled floor there, nice wide hallway. Step inside here to a sizable master bedroom. Yeah, the double doors there, which always gives that sense of opulence. So, talk us through the heating. Okay, and the cooling. so ducted heating throughout. Um, and then you've got a split system down at the back of the property as well. And I mentioned to Daniel just earlier, it's, it's a super effective and efficient ducted heating. 19 degrees the other day it was on and the house was very, very toasty. So yeah. that's probably in, um, in part to the double glazing. Yes. So most of the property is double glazed apart from um, that southern end of the home. So you're scooting in there to the luxurious ensuite. Huge ensuite here, nice yeah. big shower, twin vanity there with stone bench tops just around the corner there we've got the toilet out of view and the other side here nice and open here you've got a lovely spacious walk-in robe plenty of room there nice uh, height and ceiling too lots of storage space okay so a great little built-in lighting which is especially effective in the evening just to keep yourself up uh, Lit up when you're walking down the hallway. Nice double car garage yeah. there. So nice. that's a six by six and a half metres. So you've got some extra space to navigate. Comfortably fits two cars and you can see you've got plenty stored in there as well. Bit of room for storage. Yep, that's great. So Porter Davis floor plan. It's a really nice floor plan for family living. It's got some nice open living spaces. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's um, always great to go into a home where the floor plan's not replicated a hundred times in the area. So Yeah. So we've got nice uh, Holland blinds on the windows there, a lot of sunlight streaming in, mm. nice and light and bright, nice light coloured walls. Yeah. I think that natural light is really echoed because we're sitting so far away from the boundaries yes. on either side. So you get that beautiful flow in. You can see the lovely established landscaping out there with the pears. So formal lounge. Um, and this area here, marketed potentially as, as a home office. Yeah. Um, they just use it as a nice little sunny retreat. Great spot to sit there, ca capture that afternoon sun. It's, uh, yeah, would make a great little study area or uh, whatever you want to use it for, really. Okay. Not this area for kids. We might actually go and tour the bedrooms sure. and the bathroom. Let's head around this way. So. We have skipped one bedroom, so we'll go back there shortly because that has a nice little surprise. But here's the family bathroom. You can see there's stone benches as well. Freestanding bath. And then, yep, yeah, that's easily fitting the queen size bed in there. Nice yeah. high window. Good double door storage. Yeah. You can see lovely neutral window furnishings throughout as well. And quality too. 
So I'm assuming straight ahead here we've got a uh, linen press and another big gym here, which is yep. almost a mirror image, isn't it? Absolutely, so yeah, very similar size. And again, on the other side there, the two-door sliding built-in robes. So we're going to pop back in this direction. Head back. We skipped a room. We, we did skip a room, and it's a, a rather important room. This happens on live television. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll call this bedroom number four. You can see again what I mean with just not being so stuck on the boundary. You've got that yeah. lovely um, low maintenance landscaping out there, but just allowing the maximum amount of lighting. Bit of space, bit of privacy. Uh, but yeah, the importance of this room is the fact that it's got its own ensuite. Yes. So this is actually, in fact, bedroom number three in here. So fantastic if you've got multiple generations living with you or a beautiful guest suite. Again, the stone vanity in there. Toilet, shower, nice little niche there to put your, your soaps. Yeah. You've got the bracket TV. there for the TV. And more storage again. Good floor plan. Yes. So three bathrooms. Three bathrooms. Now we gave you a little glimpse of this beautiful kitchen family space. This is the feature of the home in my opinion. This yeah. lovely big open space. Great for entertaining. We were Absolutely. talking to the owners when we listed the place, weren't we Claire? And uh, they see you know, the family come over and everyone congregates around a kitchen bench now. Yeah. That is some kitchen bench. It Look is almost it. four metres in length. Yeah. Plenty of room. Now, you've got three bar stools there. You could fit five or six, I reckon. Absolutely. Great for cooking. So you've nice got your nice stove. undermount double sink and Blanco appliances. So your 900 mil dual fuel stove, dishwasher on this side. Obviously, your slide out range. Yeah. Plenty of cupboard space, plenty of bench space. And here's a good view of this room here. So, if you're entertaining, you know, you're still in the kitchen there. You've got a nice big dining space over there. That's an eight seater table that accommodates. We've got the uh, split system cooling in here. Plenty of sunlight streaming in. Room for, well, we've got a three seater couch, two separate chairs. Lots of space. Absolutely. And popping in here, it, it continues to impress. I like this setup. This is a yeah. great feature. So right here, we've got a little prep area. Yeah. Wine so fridge there. Wine fridge space. I think the fridge and the booze will go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but a great little servery outside. So if you're entertaining out on the decking, to be able to pass through the window is a really handy little feature. You can see out there, you've got that little bar area. Yeah. That's really nice. We'll go out there and have a look at that in a sec. Obviously, uh, just your built-in pantry. Nice and open, plenty of shelving, good space. You've got power in there for your appliances, microwave, and so on. And at the end here, the laundry. So a little freestanding cupboard there, plenty of bench space, spot for the dryer. Here's your washing machine, overhead cupboards, even a little hanging drying rack there. And then obviously outside, uh, access out to that rear decking. We'll head out there in a second. And we might have a chorus, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but come on out. This is um, a magnificent space. I mean, we're actually facing south here, but because of the elevation, you just get that beautiful natural light flowing through. You can see the alfresco almost doubles in size when you've got the roller blinds open. So yeah. cafe blinds to protect you. Yep, so this becomes fully enclosed, doesn't it? It does indeed. Look at that view. Yeah. So you're looking, this is what I was talking about earlier up here on Golden Avenue, you're just that little bit more elevated to your neighbours there and you're looking over the top there, so that's a beautiful south view. You can see just over the top of the roof line there, Mount Worth. You've got Mount Worth up there. Beautiful decking, nice Merbu timber deck. It's been well maintained, well oiled. It's in terrific condition. Spot for the barbecue here. Got natural gas for the barbecue as well, which is always very handy. And again, some more artificial lawn there. Immaculate uh, bamboo, clumping bamboo bushes there just to give you some privacy. Uh, but yeah, look, it's just beautifully neat and extremely low maintenance. Well set out. You've got some garden shedding up there as well. There's your clothesline. Access to the back of the garage. Move in and enjoy it. Absolutely. So block size here is 629 square metres. So one of the more sizable lots in Waterford Rise. 
Um, the house offers over 18 squares of living. And you can see there what I mean with regards to just having that generous space between the, the house and the fence line. Yeah. Beautiful uh, trees there. And uh, I suppose in the middle of summer there, when they leaf up, give you a nice bit of privacy and a bit of shade from that hot shade, afternoon yeah. sun. So it's really well thought out. Absolutely. So look, you can see, ready to inspect right now. Magical opportunity for anyone looking to get into the um, into the Warrigal area and looking for something at a kind of next level. Uh, we invite you to get in touch and book an appointment. Look forward to seeing you soon and thank you for tuning in.